I want to show you how you can create your own custom number format. So for example, when you want to apply a number format to a range of cells, and you come up here on the Home tab to the Number Group, and you don't see it there, click on the drop-down arrow, you don't see it there, click on More Number Formats, and in the Number window, you don't find it there. Well, in this example, I want to be able to take this range of cells, that it's the employee ID, well, their Social Security number, and let's say I want to be able to add the words in front of each of their numbers, Social Security and also have the symbol like the dash that separates like after the first three numbers then the next two from the last four well when I go ahead and create my custom number format it allows me to go ahead and add all that without interrupting Excel seeing that as just a number because if I come in here and I start typing in Social Security in front of it and adding my own dashes that breaks it up with Excel thinking okay you got a mixture of text and numbers as opposed to just looking at numbers and an example of that is over here where we added the dollar symbols for the accounting number, the format. You see the symbol there? When I select it, look up in the formula bar. What does Excel see? It just sees a number. So it doesn't mess with the other features in Excel when I want to be able to use that for a cell that contains numbers because if I actually type in the dollar sign according to Excel, it's no longer a numbered cell. It's got characters or if you want to type in text. So in any case, to get around that, so it just sees the numbers, but allows me to view like the symbol here and dashes and also the text without interfering with Excel just focusing on the number here. Then go ahead and let's get started by selecting the range that I want to be able to create a custom number format for. And after I create it, have it automatically applied to it because I selected it first. And then go ahead with it selected, right click on the range, go down to Format Cells. Let me click and drag the title bar over. We're on the Number tab, and you'd think you'd go to Custom because you want to do something customary, right? But not according to what I know because this is going to be special. Let me go ahead and click on it. And the special only contains four templates here. And hey, looky there. Well, that worked out well. Social Security Number. That's what I want to use. So you can see up here the number format that's being applied to it currently. General number format. When I select Social Security, it adds the dashes. Awesome. But I want something more, remember? I want to be able to add Social Security, the text, in front of it. So to do that, once I find something that closely resembles what I want to use, but then I want to tweak it, after you select it, because, hey, I don't want to do any more work than I have to, right? Then after I go ahead and select it, I can come down here and click on Custom, and you can see it's still there in the sample, and then below you have your field that you can make changes therein for that custom number. And in this example, I'm going to go ahead and type in Open Quotes, and I'm not going to type out Social Security, that's just too long. How about SS, and then close quotes, and you can see up here, okay, let me hit the space bar because I want some space, but hey, now we've got some text. But the text and the symbols are just for me. Excel's not going to see that. It's just going to see the number, which is good when I want to be able to use some of the features in Excel, for example, sorting just by numbers, not having a mixture, and seeing the mixture of text and symbols. So when I'm done, click okie dokie, and oh, isn't that fun? Cool. Now, how do I know it's just seeing the numbers and not the text and the symbols? Go ahead and select on a cell and look up here in the formula bar. It just sees the number. Fabulous. And so if I want to scroll down just a bit and type in another number, I'm just making up a social security number here. And hit enter, and I want to apply that custom number format to it. Well, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. And you want to watch my other training videos on formatting shortcuts. To be able to apply formatting from one cell to another, we know that using the autofill works, that is if the cell is adjacent to it, but it's not. In any case, you can go ahead and select the cell that contains the formatting, Control c to copy it, you get the marching ants, and then come down here and right-click on the cell so we can get the formatting options here. And we want formatting. Oh, you see when I hover over it? Down below here, oh, see, I can't go down there because then it disappears. So you see down below in cell B18 how it gives me preview? Oh, beautiful. So I know that, hey, that's what I want, and it says formatting, because it looks the way I want it to be applied, and not something else, like transpose, and that would be crazy. In any case, that's eh, still going to, well, transpose will still put it there, but let's do formatting, and fabulous. And then to get rid of the marching ants, hit the escape key. Now, another way to go ahead and apply this is, let's go ahead and hit undo. You can go ahead and right-click on the cell, go to Format Cells. Let me click and drag this up and go down to Custom. Now when it comes to custom numbers, we're at the bottom of the ladder, so when we create a custom number, we got to scroll all the way down because it doesn't consider our custom numbers as important. And there it is. 
beautiful. Select it, click OK, and it's applied. Now for last, let's go ahead and say that we made a mistake, and instead of doing SS, our boss comes up and says, no, it's supposed to be EID for employee ID. Let's not go ahead and say social security number. So to go ahead and make the changes, and let's do control F to bring up the find window. You click and drag the title bar up. And we want to click on options to open it up. And instead of trying to do a search in vain to have all these numbers memorized, we're looking for a specific format. And what's that format? Click on the drop down arrow. And let's go ahead and, well, we can choose it from the cell, or we can go ahead and click on the format option there, and then go to custom. Remember, our custom's all the way down at the bottom. Select it right there. Click OK, and that's what it's looking for. But what do we want to replace it with? Well, he said he wanted the EID, right? So here we go. Let's go ahead and click on, we can click on the format button here and open it up. We can select custom, and we can scroll down and choose Social Security because we're basically going to have the same format. Instead of like SS, we're going to do, he just wanted EID. Well, there you go. That's what's going to be updated with. Click OK. Go ahead and, well, we can click on Find Next to make sure it's finding the format that we're looking for and it found it. Cool. We can go ahead and click on Replace or let's do Replace All. All five are made. OK and, oh, isn't that cool? Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please look in the description below this video.